hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so i just wanted to do a quick little video to show what i have going on right now um <clears throat> i did set this up yesterday um i ordered this cover from amazon it came overnight which is like the best thing ever because i love when stuff comes overnight especially from amazon <laughs> um but yeah, it was $24.99. It's an outdated one. The inserts that came with this were from 2017, but everything is undated. Like the monthlies and everything are undated, but they do have like, um, like dates here on the side. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a really nice like cover and I can put a lot because clearly I stuffed this thing like I stuffed this thing because I was just like I was just trying to think of all the stuff that I had in my stash like that I could use for inserts um and that is one reason why I love the ring um system because you can just make it your own um you can add different kinds of paper and you can just I had all different stuff and I I just love it. Um I love how this setup came out. Um it's not like fully completed, you know, setup. I haven't like journaled yet in it. Um well I I tried to last night, but it didn't end up happening. So um anyways, so this is a day timer. You just search up day timer, seven ring planner on Amazon and it should pop up um yeah super affordable i mean it's not super affordable and it's not like it's super cheap but if you try to find um a planner with seven rings in this size they can go up to like 40 dollars plus um <clears throat> and then this was the only one that said it would get to me pretty quickly and anyways um so yeah this is a really nice cover um, it came with quite a few inserts. It came with like monthlies with the tabs and everything. It came with this clear insert and then this clear insert. Um, and it came with this little, like dashboard here in the back. Um, so yeah, um, a really nice planner. If you're interested, I will link it down below. But anyways, let me just get on into the flip. I'm over here all looking crazy in this frame. Um, okay, so um, also it came with this and it slips under the cover. I mean, not under the cover, but under the rings to like help protect the cover from the rings, like the ring indention, I'm pretty sure. Um, I just kept it there. I might eventually just take it out, but I just have it there for right now honestly anyways so make sure i'm in frame and it's not all crooked <clears throat> okay so i just added some pictures here um i found out that the my little like sticker printer that i have the pictures like fit in this like little business card um pocket divider thing perfectly so i have some of those pictures in here um this dashboard came with a different planner but i just put these huge post-its on top of it mainly for like um quick notes like note jotting like if i needed to like quickly write something down i have that here right up front i know where it is um and then i have more post-its on the back i love that these inserts are actually clear like clear and see through not like a um like this I, I i i'm trying to think of the word but i can't um like this this it's like frosty i guess like a frosty clear anyways yeah i really like that these are actually really clear and these really good quality um inside i just have some washi samples some stickers and then this is a little magazine clipping that I just included in there um, this is from a scrapbook pad that I got from Michaels. Um, I did get these like dividers, um, from like a different planner. 
but yeah, I just pretty much use this for like more sticky notes. Um, I clip back January, February, and then have it on March. I mean, it's still currently March. March is about to be over. Today is the 30th, but I still wanted to have March in here anyways. Um, I just went back and did some like birthday stickers. Um, do, I need to write that out. I wasn't, I didn't get to do that, but I have that here. I plan to do like a memory, like recap type thing here. Um, and then I made this dashboard here with like magazine clippings, like little scrap, but like books that I got from the thrift store. <clears throat> um, I cut out these letters. This is actually a sticker, the butterfly is actual sticker, but this strawberry image is from a book that I have. And then this is also from a different book. Um, and then this was the back. There's people right here, so I just put a sticker here. Um, here I plan to do like important stuff that needs to be done in April. Um, I really want to do some like spring cleaning, decluttering and stuff like that. So maybe I can make that list here. But here's the monthly so far. Um, these little like small stickers from Hobby Lobby, they have a little sticker book. I like perfect for this because I didn't want to write them out. The monthlies are a Sunday start, so I had to like, um, what is it called? Why can't I think of it? Oh, correction. I got some like correction tape. Cover the dates and then use my own stickers. And as you can see, um, they are outdated by this, but the monthlies themselves are undated, so that's actually really nice. And if you can see on these monthly inserts, um, they say AM, noon, PM, and then Eve. So like you can write stuff from, if like you have more than one appointment for that day, you can have that, write it that way. But also my reasoning for like coming into like A5 rings I totally got inspired by Monique. Um, I love her standard rings. Um, I tried to do it myself. It didn't end up working, but I like really wanted to, uh, to set up a ring, like planner journal, um, especially when I'm in this like weird funk. I like to go into rings, but I didn't want to go into personal. And I have a lot of personal size, like ring binders, covers, inserts. I have it all, okay? Um, but I just, that size, it's just too small for me. And I really love the A5 size. The A5 size is just, it just works for me. I've always used like an A5 size notebook. Um, I always feel, when I try to go smaller, I always feel like, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I don't know, I feel... Uh, like limited I feel limited on my space for like writing and journaling and collaging if I wanted to add stick you know like um I don't know when I go smaller than a5 I always feel limited on my space for journaling and stuff because when I journal I like to you know of course write I like to write lyrics and you know add a bit of like commonplacing um when I journaled, I didn't really know the term commonplacing. It was just journal. It was everything in my journal. I just included, you know, writing, quotes, um, lyrics. I would do sticker collages. I would just add everything in there. Um, and I just consider it a journal. But I feel like now I feel like I have to say commonplacing because that's what everybody says. But whenever I started journaling, I didn't know what commonplacing was and that's what it, it wasn't called that. So I like to say my journal and my journal includes like everything. Anyways, um, but yeah, I decided I wanna go A5 rings because it gives me the space and you know, I can use different pa papers, like I can make it my own. Um, and it's honestly, honestly, I don't mind like cutting down inserts and hole punching. Um, it does take a little bit, but um, it's honestly really fun at the same time. So I have this piece of vellum. 
and then this is a little like note section so this is where I just come to jot down notes um, and uh, jot down notes and all that if I just you know if I'm on the phone for an appointment or I'm on the phone for um, with the doctor's office or whatever and I need to like take notes uh, this will be the space I come to and I just flip this thing open and just like just go and write notes because when I'm on the phone it's like hard for me to <laughs> listen to what they're saying and like process it because I'll be on the phone and I'm like you know listening to everything they're saying and I'm like okay yeah okay I get it yep and then um I'll hang up the phone and then when I go to like tell my boyfriend about the appointment or what they said about you know all that i would be like oh I forgot like I literally will legit forget everything that like was said on the phone call so this will help me a lot um to have like a space to just come here and just write notes so I got all different kinds of paper in here this line paper here came with the binder as well it came with like a pad it was tucked back here um and it's just the green lines which I love how close together the lines are and then I got some grid pages as well some notes and this is moleskin paper um I took it from I took it from this planner that I got for like two dollars last year on clearance so I took that from those pages and I just trying to cover up the dates but this could be also notes as well I'm green I am <clears throat> then more pages that came with this you know binder um, you get like dailies, a little like to-do checklist area. And I just have some of those in here. And then we get to my journaling area. Um, I just used my little like mini sticker because I can make um, labels with like my little mini sticker printer. And so I made... Um, I just did a little label, cut it out. I need to do it on the other side. This is also from a book um, that I found at the thrift store. I just added a pocket and just put an image here. And then this grid paper is from this Pen and Gear composition notebook. I really love the paper in this composition notebook. Um, I just I couldn't use the notebook itself because of the binding like this just doesn't stay open and then even if it just it just doesn't stay open so it was only two dollars so I decided to cut it up and use paper from that so I have some of those pages in here and then you also get some weeklies in this planner um these are the cover pages from this planner that I just took as you can see, took it, cut it down, plan to cover up the 2023, obviously. But here's like my journaling section. I was not able to write anything, but I put a fortune down there. And then I took more pages from a different journal that I had. Just some dot grid pages and some blank pages. Another like magazine insert. Um, I need to cover these. Um, so it's like my weeklies. What I decided to do was, um, what was I trying to say? <laughs> um, so I had this A5 Loistrom uh, weekly planner that was 2023. I bought it on sale last year. Um, I couldn't find a way to use it. And then as I was like trying to make interest for this, I was like, I'm gonna just cut that notebook up. Because I'm like, why not? I'm not using it right now. Um, and it was on sale. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So I started cutting out the pages at first. And then I decided to just include the soft cover as well. Just to, I don't know, have another dashboard. 
and I love the the red on it um, and then there's some pages that I left in here that were in the planner um, I just covered up the 2023 dates because I thought I could use this in some way I just have to figure it out and then you actually have 2024 and then I just have the weeklies from <clears throat> Well, I guess starting from March, um, I do have to redate them, which is no problem at all because I have these little date stickers. This is the current week. I didn't even hear you. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Is that where she went? <laughs> Hi, beautiful. You're like, where'd the mama go? Hi, beautiful girl. How do you sleep? Hair crazy. Oh, beautiful. Hi, my love. You're so cute. Um, so yeah, I plan to use this space for journaling as well. Um, more like memory keeping and stuff like that. I still haven't fully figured it out yet. Because sometimes I'm like, this is enough space just to like write out what happened and you get the lines in the back. But then sometimes I want more space, so that's why I have this area for that, if I want more journaling and stuff. So I have up until June in here, well June, July, I guess. Well no, just June. And then just notes pages, that was in the back of the journal, or the planner. I did also include, um, the very back of the notebook itself where the back pocket was um so i have an extra space for um for stuff you know so that fit perfectly in here and it like hole punched perfectly um right there so it didn't like mess this actual folder part up but yeah, I have that. And then last but not least, I just have another clear pouch that came with a different planner. And I just got a couple things and there's like sticker sheets and tabs. And then this, this is the dashboard that came with the planner itself. So there's that. And that's pretty much my journal, I would say. Journal planner. Um, that's the flip for my A5 rings. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, um, or want to link to something, let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.